in this video. It is starting to feel like my Honda, says Mark Marquez. Frustrations continue for Fabio Quartararo, says future is wide open. And Raul Fernandez suffers first real MotoGP crash. My name is Sankalp and this is your Racing News Fix. At Sepang, Mark Marquez admitted that the bike felt very very different from the Honda he has been used to for a long time, but didn't bother changing any setup to make the bike more as per his liking. That's because his priority at Sepang was to get back on the bike and make his body used to the kind of forces one can only experience on a MotoGP bike. But arriving at Mandalika for the second and final pre-season test, his mentality was no longer just to get the laps done. Speaking about his different approach to Sepang and Mandalika test, Mark started. In the Sepang test, what mattered was getting back on the Honda after a long time, riding and understanding what my feelings were. But at Mandalika, I am now starting to feel like it is my bike slowly taking it towards my direction and adapting it to my style. There has been a lot of work done in the three days at Mandalika. Further speaking about getting back some of the special feeling at the Mandalika test, Mark continued. This is the first time I felt something special in a long time. Malaysia was fast, but I didn't feel why the bike was fast. At Mandalika, I started to feel the bike and already made some changes. But yeah, with the new bike, also with my physical situation, of course I would like to have one or two more days with the bike, but it is like this. By now, we all know that Yamaha have made very little progress over the winter break and after the Sepang test, Fabio Quartararo had made it more than clear that he is frustrated. And after the three days of testing at Mandalika, very little has changed in that regard. Fabio already made it clear at Harris back in November that he would not sign with Yamaha unless they are able to show him clear improvements in the M1 at the pre-season test. And now since that hasn't happened, Fabio is not leaving any opportunity to let everyone know that his future in MotoGP is wide open. After the end of the last pre-season test at Mandalika, Fabio reiterated, Obviously, I expected a bigger improvement on the bike and that makes my future wide open. I have to look at the best option for me. But unless he does something like what Maverick Vinales did last year, he still has to ride the M1 for the whole of 2022 and that is also worrying the reigning world champion. With Yamaha's top speed deficit, it is clear that overtaking Ducatis and Hondas and even the Suzukis with the new and fast engine will be a difficult feat for the Yamaha riders. So Fabio has now decided to focus all his efforts on improving the qualifying performance for 2022. But in the 5 days of pre-season test, one lap pace, which was Fabio's strength in 2021, also seems a bit compromised. And Fabio admits, I don't feel so great at the moment on the qualifying simulation. So that's what I'm more worried about. Because on the pace, I can go super super fast on the used tyre. But the new tyre and one lap, I'm missing something compared to last year. So this is the biggest difference and I feel that I have to improve in this area. On qualifying runs, what I'm missing is the difference between the used tyre and the new tyres. The difference is much less than before and I feel like it is quite difficult to increase that. And I don't understand why it is such a small difference. And 2021 Moto2 rookie sensation, Raul Fernandez had his first real MotoGP crash on day 2 of the Mandalika test. He pushed a bit too hard on used tyres and crashed at around 200 km per hour, leaving him quite shaken up and with a lot of bruises to his head. Speaking about the crash, Raul said, I did nothing strange. We did work on the bike and the tyre had too many laps on it and I crashed. It was nothing but I crashed and I crashed at too much speed. I didn't exactly see it but it was more or less 200 km per hour. In this case, it was because I had the old tyres and I pushed like it was a new one. His struggles continued on day 3 as he suffered yet another crash and this time it was more alarming because he said that he crashed because he had lost the perception of speed. After the crash on day 3, Raul said, Yesterday I crashed and everything seemed good after my medical check. However, when I got on the bike this morning, I didn't feel well. I crashed again this morning and at that moment I did not understand why. It is very strange but I have no speed perception. I don't see well so I went to see the doctors and they told me to stop as it wasn't safe to keep riding. This has yet again raised questions on the medical protocol regarding head trauma and concussions. The fact that Fernandez was given a green light to ride after the first crash which left him with several visible bruises on his head in itself is surprising given the stricter medical checks recently announced for 2022. If you made it till here, help me out, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. Here are two more videos which you might enjoy. My name is Sankal and I'll be back with another video very soon.